Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Antonios Pavlidis and Franz Ashiko. This is a game from Chess Olympia, played in Batumi, Georgia in 2018. Antonios Pavlidis had white pieces and he started with e4. Franz Ashiko played e5. Knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4. The Italian game. Greek playing Italian game. Well, that is normal. Everybody loves Italian opening. Bishop to c5, d3, knight to f6, bishop to g5, pinning the knight. Asking a question. Bishop to h4, a6, knight to c3, black to move. g5 was played. g5 is played when there is no intention to castle kingside. You can't be 100% sure because everything is normal in this time and age. Bishop to g3, d6, a3, knight to d4, intending bishop to g4. White has to play h3 or chop the knight. Knight takes on d4, bishop takes on d4, h4, rook to g8. Castling king side will be a suicide. Then h takes on g5, and after h takes on g5, queen to d2. Back to our game. Rook to g8. h takes on g5, h takes on g5, rook to h6, attacking the knight. Believe it or not. Bishop to g4, attacking the queen, f3, bishop to d7, Queen to d2, preparing to castle queenside. Queen to e7, bishop to f2, and black castled kingside. If bishop takes on f2, queen takes on f2, and castling then, then queen to a7 is unpleasant. Back to our game. Franz Ashiku castled queenside. Bishop takes on d4. E takes on d4, white move. What is the best square for the knight? What would you do? This is the critical position of the game. Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Well, do you agree that knight to e2 looks like a natural move? Perhaps then black would play d5. So this is a natural move. But there was a big surprise. Antonius Pavlidis played rook takes on f6. Remember, earlier I told you that rook was attacking the knight. Black to move. Queen takes on f6. What else? If d takes on c3, queen takes on c3 defending the rook. So we have queen takes on f6. Knight to d5. White knight is now the star of the show. Extremely well placed. Queen to e5. Guarding e7 square. White to move. How to continue? Antonius Pavlidis played queen to a5. Nothing serious. Just threatening queen takes on c7 checkmate. b6. White to move. What would you do now? I guess... Queen takes pawn on a6 is the first move that comes to mind. Do you agree? Well, this is indeed the first move that comes to mind. This is check and then king to b8. And black could put up a good resistance from this position. Believe it or not. Back to our game. In this position, there was another surprise. The monster knight strikes again. Knight takes on b6 check. Black to move. King to b8. If c takes on b6, then queen takes on a6, check. And after king to c7, check. And after king to c6, bishop to d5, check. And black must give up the queen to save the king. Nobody wants to do this. Back to our game. King to b8. Knight to d5. Queen to g3, check. King to f1. Rook to c8, defending the pawn. On c7. 
Bishop takes on a6 attack in the rook. Bishop to c6. White to move. White. Play the move when black resigned. And the move is... What would you do? The move is knight to e7. Black resigned. It's not because the knight is forking two rooks. It is because of the threat. Knight takes bishop on c6. And if bishop moves to a safe spot, then one line goes like this. Queen to b5 check. King to a7. Queen to a4. And now, if rook goes to h8, let's try rook to h8 first. Then, bishop takes on c8. Discover check. King to b8, queen to b4, check. King to a7, queen takes on d4, forking the king and the rook. After king to b8, queen takes rook. And let's go back. In this position, if rook from c to e8, attacking the knight, the knight to c6, check, forcing bishop takes knight. Bishop takes knight, bishop to b5, discover check, King to b8, bishop takes on c6, and there is no sensible way to stop queen to a8, check, mate. A random move, queen to a8, check, mate. What a beauty. For this game, Antonius Pavlidis won the brilliancy prize in round 6 of the open section. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.